Star Girl Swamp Queen palette. I'm gonna prime my eyelid using my Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in the color Buttercream. towards the end of the video I'll do a more in-depth review and color swatches of the palette but for now for all over my lid I am gonna be using the brush that it came with and I'm gonna go in with the shade Big Baby which is this color right here and we're gonna put that all over the lid I'm gonna go in with with my blending brush and I'm gonna take the color natural peaches and that's this shade right here I just make natural peaches our transition shade blending brush that's a little bit smaller we're going to go in with the color dog man and that's this one right here go in and we're going to stick to the outer portion right here go back in with the brush that came with the palette and I'm going to take the sippy sippy color and I think I'm just going to put that on the center of my eyelid. Take the sweet tea which is the contour shade, this long one right here. And I'm gonna go in and I'm kind of, I'm gonna put it in the crease, like right in here, to kind of like merge the colors together or like give them more and more seamless. And I'm gonna just go back and blend it out just a little. After that, I'm gonna take, I'm probably gonna end up applying with my finger, but I'm gonna take this little wet and wild brush right here and I'm gonna go in with sassy bun which is the color directly in the middle. I'm just going to place it just on this one. Next I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a winged liner. Today I'm going to be using my NYX eyeliner. Professional, just around here. Next, we're gonna go in with with our Milani Conceal and Perfect Two in One Foundation and a little of our Maybelline Dream Velvet. Just a tad of the Infallible Pro Matte. We're gonna add it all over the face.
Next, we're gonna go in with this Revlon Color Stay Whipped Cream Makeup. And this is gonna be our contour shade. It's in the shade 400 Early Tan. This wasn't as dark as I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna mix it in with something. I'm gonna mix it in with a little of the Sephora Concealer in the color, color Truffle. face any pressed powder will do and we're gonna set all the parts of our face that we didn't put under our eyes contour shade in the palette which is called sweet tea I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it just yet for me like and how I contour so I might mix it with something else but for now I'm gonna be using sweet tea I'm gonna use a light hand with this and you're definitely gonna have to tap off the excess For our blush, we're going to be using Does This Thing Really Work? And we're going to be light handed with this. Gator wings, and we'll go in with our fan brush. Go in with the sweet tea on this little smudger brush. I'm gonna go in with Sandstorm by NYX. I do have Texas Toast coming in the mail, so whenever I get it, I will do a video using the other colors in the palette along with that lip color. But for today, I'm gonna be using Sandstorm. on my eyes today. This is what the palette looks like in the box. 
Um, it's got this wood finish and a Swamp Queen in the gold. This is all textured right here. And then on the back of the box, there's a picture of Bunny and it says Graveyard Girl. And then it has all of the ingredients. It is cruelty free and I want to say it's vegan. And whenever you open it up, the first thing that comes out is this little card. And it shows you it shows you a day look and a night look and it shows you or it tells you how to use it. When you open up the box, you obviously have the palette. Again, the front of the box is textured just like the box that it was the box that it came in, the little sleeve thing. Um, this is all metallic too with the little gator and the alligator wings. Um, this actually is like my third Tarte palette, so they do have really good quality eyeshadows and a good brand in general. So I was really excited that she actually partnered with a good brand, even though it wasn't surprising to me that it was Tarte because she's been using Tarte forever for her entire YouTube career. She was very dedicated to them. And then when you open it, I don't want to blind you. You can see my little mirror. But it comes with a very huge mirror and it says, believe in yourself, love yourself, embrace your individuality. And then it comes with this brush right here. Usually palettes like this come with a brush, but it was nice that she included one. It's just like a flat shader brush. And again, the handle is also textured just like the box and the palette itself. First we're going to start off and we're going to talk about the first three right here. We have Sweet Tea which is the bronzer. Does this thing really work that is a blush and then Gator Wings which is the highlight. I am wearing all three of those today. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them on the back of my hand for you. This is what it looks like on your fingers. This is what they look like on the back of my hand. The only thing I have to say about the first three colors are um, the bronzer is a actual bronzer. It's not matte. It does have some shimmer in it. It's not horrible. Um, and it's not chunky glitter either. So, and it's pretty nice. It's really smooth. Um, the does this thing really work is a pretty pinky. It's not corally. It's not red. It's just a pink. And it does have some shimmer in it whenever you, um, swatch it. It's not bad though. So if you're like a matte person and you don't like shimmer in your bronzer or your blushes you may not like this um the highlighter though it is a really nice highlighter but the only thing that i don't really like about this highlighter is it is a little chunky whenever you like swatch it out you can see like there's little specks or whatever it's not too bad once you blend it out it it goes away but it makes fall out really bad if you can tell on my shirt that's all from the highlighter um Okay, I'm going to go on ahead and take these swatches off my hand and then I'm going to put the eyeshadow shades. I'm going to do a dupe of the day and I'm using the Milani Must Have Natural Everyday Eyes in 01. I'm going to take this color right here and it is a creamish with a little bit of a yellow undertone highlight and then the bunny highlighter which is also a goldy a little bit more pinky i guess shade if you look at them side by side let's see if you look at them side by side they're pretty they're pretty similar this one the bunny one is a little bit more of a yellowy goldish and this one's a little bit cooler but when you swatch them out See, this one's a little bit more chunky. This is the bunny one. Horrible swatch. It's a little bit more yellow, but they're pretty close. So if you want something similar, pick up the Milani. Okay, next we are going to swatch the first row, which is this, these three right here. And the first one is hashtag SFX. The next one is Natural Peaches. And the third one is Dogman. Okay, so... Right here you have hashtag SFX, 
uh, hashtag SFS. This is Sweet Peaches, and then this is Dogman. Dogman is my favorite shade in the entire palette. It's super smooth, super creamy. Um, it's a rich terracotta orangey red shade. It does have a little bit of glitter in it, but it's not chunky glitter. And once you kind of blend it in, it kind of blends away. I am wearing um, the Natural Peaches as my transition shade, and then the Dogman as my um, crease color. And I did a little bit like into the lid but not on the lid and that's what I used I used those two in this look right here um the natural peaches is a really good transition shade it's good to mix in with other colors and um the SFS is more of like a champagne-y um champagne -y pink but not like super shimmery if that makes our next three are going to be Big Baby Sassy Bun and Sippy Sippy. Again, this is Big Baby Sassy Bun and Sippy Sippy. Um, I use Big Baby all over my lid after I applied my primer, and then um, I use Sippy Sippy as an all over lid color, and then the Sassy Bun is the gold that you see right down the middle, like that. Um, I really like the Sassy Bun, it's very like a goldish, peachy, reflective color. Um, the Sippy Sippy though is the my least favorite out of the palette just because there is so much it's almost like it's a matte brown color it's a deep chocolate color but they put bit you can see it it's a big chunks of glitter um that's the only thing i don't like about it once you blend it in it kind of goes away but it would to me, it would have made more sense if the brown was like a metallic-y brown where they put the glitter in it, but hey, it's whatever. I still used it. I still like it. It's just not my favorite one. The next three shades in here is going to be Haunting, Uncommon, and Man Cat. Haunting, Uncommon, and Man Cat. Um, Haunting is more of like a pearlized, um, I'm not going to say shimmer, but it's more of the, more of like a satin finish. Um, and it is like, it's a, obviously, it's a, like a dusty purple color. And then the Uncommon is more of a, it's not full on metallic, but it's not satin either. It's like right in the middle. And then Man Cat is a matte purple. I feel like in this palette she did a really good job of making the matte still blendable and creamy and they don't um they're not patchy or anything like that. Um the only ones I didn't use today was the hashtag SFS Haunting Uncommon and Man Cat and those are going to be the ones that I use in my next tutorial whenever I receive the lippy and um another thing I noticed about this palette is these colors are really good for um, brown eyes and hazel eyes if you can tell my my eyes look really green when you mix them with these orangey shades some of these do have fallout which I mean is expected with any eyeshadow I don't care what they tell you some of them some palettes are worse than others but this one's pretty normal for me um, the only one that had an extreme amount of fallout was the Gator Wings, but hey, it's it still looks nice and I like it. Um, this palette is limited edition. It was $45. I got mine through Tarte's website and they sold out and from what I hear, once they sold out on Tarte, they're not restocking again. Um, but as of right now, Ulta.com just released um, their line on 
Saturday and the lippy sold out but they do still have some palettes that I know of. Next is going to be when they actually release in stores and I could put all the dates down below. I want to say the date it releases at Ulta is around the 21st or that may be Sephora. So I'll just leave the dates down below if you want to take a look and I'll link it down below if they have some available. If not, I'm sorry. That's it for Does This Thing Really Work edition of my makeup channel. So if you like these types of videos, don't forget to thumb it up. Leave a comment down below on future videos you'd like to see. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.